Hello friends, I'm fired up today just because you are here, right? You are the reason I'm here. So you are welcome to this Voice of the Chart session. The Voice of the Chart session is a session where we critically take a look at the charts and of course listen to the Voice of the Chart. My name is Clinton Ono from Market Salam. Just to let you know, Market Salam is here to help you make sense of your trading and investing. And of course, if this is the first time you're seeing this channel, you are welcome if you are a returning seer seer viewer whatever my friend you are equally welcome just before you sign up use the subscribe button down below turn on the notification bell to get all important information for free all right i'm still mr whatever in case you've forgotten and nothing mr whatever we say here should be misinterpreted, reinterpreted, or interpreted as financial advice. Let's see the chat, shall we? All right, friends, we are here. Let's quickly take a look at BTC chart. What does BTC chart? I'll start by drawing a trend line. Oof. What does BTC chart stay? Of course, the overall um, long term of BTC chart, like I said earlier uh in my previous uh voice of the chart session video of course uh the downtrend line is already broken and of course our critical watch at this moment is this line and of course i did explain in the last video that this mini trend line is also please take a look at my last video please friends if you have the time and see what i analyze on the btc chart at the moment friends i did make the projection that uh for using a fibonacci right and that uh we are, i'm expecting the bitcoin price to uh, to be around this level right that's around 100k that's 97 or there about according to the fibonacci estimate right of course uh, there are factors okay that will invalidate this uh this assumption of course friends there are factors that will invalidate uh my prediction right and of course one of those factors is uh if the price comes down to this level of course break of course test and of course you can expect price to go down right but at this moment uh the earlier prediction is still very much active right because the price can of course test this trend line again and of course zoom off to meet our target that just by the way my friends of course uh, there are uh the other things we can look at here there's really no more so let's drop down to our early time frame and see what the early time frame chart says okay mm okay let me let me quickly clear this right early time frame of course the hour one and one hour time frame is not looking too good my friends uh there was some profit taking at this level as you can see if uh, i'm to consider divergence my friends uh of course friends please have to take a critical look at this this is very important uh, um, to judge by what is currently happening at this moment friends i will likely see bitcoin dropping down to uh of here my friends this current level or likely see bitcoin dropping down to 48k right uh yes it's very possible i think it's gonna happen please don't panic friends don't panic don't panic don't panic this is what the chart says of course there are other factors that will validate this assumption and one of them is that uh if let me zoom in for a better clarity right let me zoom in friends uh there are things that can occur here please take a look at it this friends is very important my friend here is a trend line right of course this is the reverse use of trend line right because we are 
trending down if you are trending down you draw a trend line like this if you're trending up you draw a trend line let me just if you are trending down you draw a trend line downward if you are trending up you draw a trend line upward right so at this moment the price action is currently trending down friends uh of course uh as you can see if the price is going to continue up from the early view of course friends the price can of course go break retest right at this level and continue upward that's another condition that can see the price continue upward but for this early chart view my friends uh i won't say scary right because it's not it's just a normal price movement you don't expect the price to keep going up always of course there are people who are going to take profit so and our chart doesn't look too good uh, likely taking a correction so if i am to use the fibonacci to check probably the level it will go to like i did with uh, a rough estimation this was a result level that got broken at this point right and of course this result level is very significant because this significant level was the low on this move was the lowest on this move right of course this is a low this was the lower low and of course accumulation took place here right don't get confused my friends i will do a tutorial soon on uh technical analysis a full tutorial so you have a better understanding accumulation of course took place here and this was the lowest right and of course the move of the lowest right the top of it is very significant that was the resistance that i couldn't break before it went to make a low now after accumulation it went and it broke and it went up right there's a possibility this level it broke right this level it broke there's a possibility of the price coming back to to test it and of course that's what i'm expecting right okay and the price can continue upward of course this is the mini view it's an early chart so to say this can happen really quickly all right okay but uh if you take a look at the the overview that the daily chart so uh, things are pretty looking mostly good right of course we can see a continuation right uh a validation of what the uh, hourly chart says by breaking here and going upward so this is why this is a voice of the chart session whatever happens we'll be tracking the chart this is supposed to be a live session but it's recorded at this moment because uh we are expecting more updates and of course uh numbers of subscribers need to reach a certain level before i'll decide to go live right so can take questions and now talk to mr what about friends i know you will like it okay that's pretty much it my friends let's uh take a look the half time of course let's take a look at uh uh let's take a look at litecoin litecoin is pretty much uh similar to bitcoin of course almost all they're similar to bitcoin okay what does litecoin have here let's take a look at the daily let's do a top-down analysis hmm. what can i see okay let's see let's see i see i see a good move right not bad but uh on a second note not bad not bad let me start by drawing trend line to because um uh, if i assume this is a trend line right right and of course let me track the price right assume that uh, this mini downward has broken right because that assumption is valid very valid my friends right uh, kind of uh, like uh, a, 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 a rising wedge or a falling, falling wedge whatever wedge it is it's not my business what my business is it has broken uh of course we can expect the price to um to go up to this level right go all the way up to this level my friends right of course that will coincide with uh the previous uh around the level of the previous high right 
not bad not bad let's take a look at the early charts let's see early chart is currently uh what do i have here friends what do i have here friends okay there's a there's a correction to the upward move in, in the early chart just like bitcoin we're having a kind of uh, correction here right mm -hmm. of course the trend line got broken right at this point the trend line got broken right let's take a critical look my friends uh the trend line got broken here right right it went up retest and of course continued downward right and at this moment the price is currently trending down of course um we we'll have a divergence here yeah yeah we do we we'll have a little divergence here right and i don't think that is significant enough because it's not even a divergence it's kind of like an internal divergence right if you drop the lower time frame you might see clearly but this is really not something that you should take a look at right so uh with that said i can say uh what can i say here i think uh the price might likely uh consolidate around this level before going up right i don't expect the price to really deep down except something significant happen with bitcoin like a fundamental also but i expect this uh, support level to hold all right and uh i equally expect the price to continue uh to continue upward like uh what is what's the continue upward right so there's really not much to fear here let's take a look at ada on binance okay ada ada let's take a look at the daily chart of ada ada is currently here um can i see oh this this is kind of upward right it's upward of course the overall market is still developing uh, of course i say upward move here right okay what else what else is there what else is there this mini this retracement this retracement down move right how far can it go who knows i cannot tell until this trend line breaks right and of course i can assume right using a, a simple fib right to uh sorry i did that that's wrong you can fib um yes not wrong actually you can fib this to know the level it will re retrace of course uh if it's going to come all the way down to the trend line we expect uh, the retracement around the 78 percent level right or uh, of course uh i really don't see it's going this down right but you can pretty much expect anything in the cryptocurrency of course i see a lot of uh this moment i see a lot of accumulation going on here so pretty soon we might likely break this right retest and of course continue upward that will be my take on this i don't think the price is going to come all the way to this level but anything can happen my friends let's see the early charts what does the early chart say okay that's pretty much what we've seen so far similar uh friends i'm confident it's going to break up soon just be hopeful this is going to break up really uh, a lot of accumulation is going on here because you can even see a clear divergence here right let me zoom let me zoom let me let me show you this friends this is this is super interesting right let me show you this friends let me show you this friends pay attention here's a low right here's another low right the lows are equal right and of course if you take a closer look friends you'll see that uh 
You know the momentum, right? Let me show you. There's a momentum here, right? And the price went down again. The momentum dropped. Why did the momentum drop? Of course, that is a mini divergence there, right? Playing out. Of course, that divergence signified that this old damn move was likely over, right? And of course, um, of course, there was a shootout, right? A shoot up, of course, that retraced. Well, what is this? What's happening? Come on. I like uh Of course, uh, after the accumulation process that I just showed you, there was a little divergence here. Of course, it played out. Of course, if you take a critical look at this, you also see a divergence between this, right? I don't know if you can see it clearly. Uh, can, let me put this up. You see, there was a huge momentum here when the price was around this level. And now the price came to this level again. And you can see the momentum is dropping. And of course, again, the price came to this level. And you can see the momentum drop even further. So if friends, you can, you can take it not to the bank. Take it to Mr. Whatever that uh, uh, this is going to go up. Just be open and be prayerful. It's going to go up. Of course... That's going to be very obvious if you see the MACD crossing over on the hourly chart here, right? MACD crossover on the hourly chart just like this, right? It's going to be, if you see a green uh, momentum here, that signifies that this is going to break up, probably it has even broken, right? So not bad, we still have time. Let's take a uh, look at another chart. This is supposed to be a live session. You're supposed to be telling me the chat to look at, friend. So soon, we're going to make this live. Let's take a look at Solana. Mm. Solana. Early chat for Solana. It's not looking good, my friends. It's not looking good. Not looking good at all. Okay. Not looking good, friends. Of course, it's not a financial advice, right? Of course, the overall market is developing. Of course, uh, what can I see here? Oh, well. <sighs> These are not the MACD as crossover, right? MACD crossing over is not a dead sentence, friends. MACD crossing over is not a dead sentence, okay? But it's an indication that the possibility the price is going to slide downward further. Right? Okay, but um, let's just be hopeful. I really can't say much, but Solana, Solana chart is not. Let's take a look at our time frame. Uh, Solana. Solana. Okay, friends, let me put things up with <laughs> Solana. All right, let me leave it at that. Okay, let's let me just uh, give you a scenario, right? If the price is to go up, there's going to be a break of this trend line, right? Of course, break, break test. Of course, the retest can be around this level, right? Then you can expect the price to, to go up. And of course, friends, if on the other hand, the price goes down, break this, test this level, of course, you can expect the price to go down further. This is simply trapping the price. So I'll be very watchful, right? I will enter the trade immediately, right? I might like to take a look at the volume to see if there's a significant volume that led to the break of either side, right? Of course, there is a fake out. The price can break and can break back in, right? So you have to watch the volume level it broke. And of course, if it's testing, you have to equally watch the volume level when it tested. If there are institutions that just took profit quickly and you know, and all that. So that is a whole technical tutorial that I might likely push out anytime soon. But there are scenarios that I will be watching closely right if i'm to trade solana but at the moment 
i'll just be watching my chat right i'll just sit right here friends and watch the scenario unfolds before i take any action all right uh what is what else is there my friends um what is there what can we look at dodge dodge can we look at dodge what does dodge says okay dots dots okay dot is good friends dot is good very good dot is good friends uh dot is good dot is good friends dot is good very financial advice anyway but dot is good okay mm -hmm. really good very good of course Similarly, a scenario that will play out that you need to watch carefully. By the moment, dot is good. Of course, this upward move can decide to retrace more than this 50% uh, level that I did. Right? It can decide to re retrace back deeply, but I don't expect it. Friends, dot is good right at this moment. Of course, I expect the price of dot to, to get to around uh, 80 or there about anytime soon right anytime soon okay or or on a conservative level you can see the price topping 48 but 48 is a walkover my friends it's gonna break through all right don't take it to the bank take it to mr whatever okay friends that's all by the way my friends so let's just take a look at the early chart if anything here to threaten friends thought is good friends dot is good you can see let me tell you why dot is good at this moment you have the early chart right as you can see the mini channel i just drew which of course is the reverse of trade line there's a break and there's a retail so what friend, what are you looking for my friends where you where you dot is good <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh, unfortunately, I can't offer financial advice for you, my friends. I can't, but the judge is good. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is what I've been saying, my friend. If this is not what I've been saying, this is what I've been saying, all right? There's a break, there's a retest. Of course, what are you waiting for, right? Of course, you can do a double button, right? can do a double button right of course i'm five uh, to take a look at the volume level of the break like i said earlier here's the level here's the volume right there's the break volume right it broke here it retested on the lower volume and it shoot up on the high volume as you can see this volume is significant right it's higher than these numbers of uh as volume right and of course the price came back and of course another significant high volume on a damn bar right of course i don't know if you if you understand what damn bar is right let me switch the chart to uh come on what's this i need a bigger a very thick not timber okay and i need only okay yeah okay if you understand what damn bar this is a damn bar it closes on a slow there's a damn bar right now, because after the damn bar, you expect this huge volume to push the price downward, right? So why is the price going up? Now to tell you that uh, the institution have quickly just marked down the price to just shoot it up, right? They wanted a discounted price to buy, and that's what they've done here. Yeah. They discounted it down. They quickly rushed and bought it and pushed it up. Of course, friends, not financial advice, but that is good. <laughs> that is good. Okay, hey friends, what else do we have? How many chats have we taken so far? What else is there, my friends? What else is there? Pook, okay. Um, this is supposed to be a live session, like I said earlier, my friends. You're supposed to be telling me the chat to pull out here, okay? So, very soon we'll go live. Avalanche, okay. Let's take a look at Avalanche. Avalanche, what, do you, what can you tell us? Avalanche. Avalanche, avalanche. Well, uh, it's not a financial advice anyway, but if I am you, 
right? I will not go trading avalanche. Sorry, friends, but I won't, right? Of course, I will not, right? Or if I see avalanche at this level, it discounted price at this level, I will. 34 is the discounted uh, level. Don't be in a hurry, my friends. Don't be in a hurry. See, you go, you're going to be rich. It's, it's, it's exciting. You're going to be a billionaire. But you have to take it step by step. It's a process. you got to be patient, my friends. you really got to be patient. So, as you can see, the market already crossed over. Of course, the downward movement is on low volume, I can say. But, right? Uh, of course, there is... Uh, of course, there's a divergence here. I don't know if you guys can see this, guys. Can you guys see this? Can you guys please see this, friends? There's a momentum, right? When the price was here. And when the price went up, the momentum dropped. Why? Ask yourself some questions, my friends. Why did the momentum drop? What the hell is going on here? Okay? Of course, the price currently just broke a major trend line that has been trading for since, uh, since uh, August, right? Up to, up, to, um, up to September uh, 26th. And of course, there was uh, there's the retracement and the, the trend just broke, right? Of course, you expect the level to come up, but obviously do a, bottom, a double button or test this level. And also, my friends, you see divergence here, my friends. Uh, of course, the divergence has split out, right? The price has reversed. Of course, if you you we are watching this critically you will find out that there's another trend mini trend there that got broken right right of course of course it's a trend i will teach you uh, how to draw trend lines right using your uh, momentum or uh, base approach to draw trend line that's uh impulsive move right i'll i'll, I'll do that if i have time so friends Alvarez is not a touch for me. Sorry, my friends. At this moment, I would rather short Alvarez. Right? Me, I would do it. Of course, it's not a financial advice. So, but there are scenarios that will play out here that will make me go long on Alvarez. At this moment, it's bearish. Of course, it's bearish. The target at this level, right? It's bearish. It's bearish, my friends. It's, it is. Right? Target at this level. Of course, there are scenarios that will play out here that will change my bias right and that's if this downtrend trend kind of got broken right right uh i think i should change this color this time if this breaks and tests of course it's going to go up right friends that's a scenario to look out for, right? But if that, if that didn't happen, of course, I'm confident that might likely not happen. What might likely happen is this move down. So at least test this level, this 30, 30, 34. <laughs> Friends, that's it. That's what the chart says. If no fundamental analysis is the chart analysis, anything can happen. Fundamentals can go green and price can shoot up. So, it's just that's why you need to have understanding of what the chart says. And of course, be vigilant. Except you are a long-term investor that really don't bother about, you know, the ups and downs of the price. You just put in your money and confidently it will shoot up. Okay, friends. Um, uh, that's pretty much it today. Uh, I wish we can do more. If we have more time. We'll have to take a look at more chat, right? I really appreciate your time. And of course, if you find value so far in this video, smash the like button, of course. Subscribe to this channel, of course. Turn on the notification bell to be the first to get all important information. I will be so glad to have you share this with your friends, my friends. All right, it's Mr. Whatever. I'm signing off and hope to see you on the voice of the chat again. Bye-bye.